Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to share the project with Miss Victoria for your progressive All About Me projects. I created a quick project for my All and I called it All About Me. And you'll notice a couple of things. What some of you might be doing is just copying this link at the top and sending that over. And you don't want to do that because that's your editor link. And you can say it's editor. That means you have to be logged in as you. So what you want to do is you would go from the project page. When you go to the C project page uh, and you're looking at your project page, you can see what you've got down here and there'll be a copy link. The first thing that we want to do when we're inside our project is you want to hit this share button at the top that's orange. If you've already shared, it should be blue and it'll say shared. So I'm going to hit the share button which is going to save my project and it's got it. Now we're, it's going to be a shareable link. And so what I've got here now is down in the lower right hand corner, now that I've shared my project, I'm gonna see and I can see the copy link button. I'm gonna click that and that's just gonna copy the link to my All About Me project. If I'm not sure if I shared or not, I could go to the CN side and it'll say again that it's shared and go back to my project page. So again, once I copy the link, this is where I'm gonna put it in. My, for instructions, if there's something that people wanna do, like maybe mine don't have any special instructions, but I could put it in here, click on the apple to begin, or click the green start, or whatever it is that you wanna do. And with this uh, notes and credits, I could put all about me and my crazy apple friend, right? And so we've got that, so we can put that stuff in here. Um, I don't know if Miss Victoria has that you guys have commenting on or off. If commenting is on. Anybody that views it can see, make comments about your video. If you don't want people to make comments about your video, you can turn commenting off. So now I've copied the link. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to the final progressive project link page. And we're going to say that I'm in uh, first hour. And I've already put one up there to try. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna type in my name. So I'm gonna type in my name again, Mr. Agner New. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight my name by holding down my left finger on my trackpad, highlight my name. Once I've highlighted my name, I'm gonna hit the insert a link button. And right here, I've got my insert a link. I'm gonna do control V to paste it because I copied it from, I hit the copy button. Control V will do your paste. I hit the apply button and there's Mr. Egner new. So that would be, I've got my information I've set up here. So a couple of these, if you if you hover over it, if you put yours in here and you hover over one that you've got, if you click on it and it says the editor at the end of it, that means that it won't work because you have to be logged in as you, only you would be able to see that. So now that I've got my Mr. Egner new in there, we can go in here. So what I'll do is I'm going to make sure that I'm logged out of Scratch. So I'm going to sign out of Scratch so that I'm not logged in. And now if I go back to that final project page, Mr. Egner New, I click on it. I click the button to go follow the link and it will take me to the project page for my shared project. And you can see up here at the top that it says sign in. So I'm not signed in as anybody, it's just a random project. And mine, you don't have to click on the app to begin, but you would click on the start button and it would walk you through my project. Um, I hope this helps you guys get your projects turned in. If you have any problems, let Miss Victoria know. She can get with me and we figure it out for you guys. Thank you.